So I took a cold shower every day for 30 days. Does it work? Find out in this video. So for the past 30 days, I've been trying to do this uh, cold shower challenge where it's like you do a cold shower every morning for 30 days. And some people, a lot of people do it for different reasons. Some people do it for just to wake up in the morning. Some people do it for like alertness, a productivity hack. Some people do it for weight loss. And what I wanted to do was tell you my experience during it um, and if you should be doing it yourself. So who the heck am I? I'm Coach Malik. I've been a personal trainer for the last 10 years and cold showers have been a huge trend. Um, I've seen on the internet that people have been doing for a whole bunch of different you know, varieties of reasons. First of all, look at this shirt, raise the bar. Uh, shout out Trevor, gave it to me when I was in like, like high school, still got it. Yeah. But after the 30 days of doing a cold shower, here were my experiences. Did I lose any weight or gain any fitness gain from it? No. Did I feel more productive? Did I feel more, more focused? No. And these were the things that I thought was gonna come with doing the cold shower. And maybe you think about it, you know, you think you're gonna get these benefits too if you do a cold shower every morning. And so the reason I wanna get on here is because I wanted to try it out. And then after the 30 days, I wanted to present it and make a video about it and say like what my experience was. I looked online a lot of the times and a lot of people are giving it good benefits. They're saying get some very alert. If you watch Tony Robbins, he does a cold plunge every morning. Uh, he says it gets that body, um, gets those like longevity genes. I forget what they're called, anti-aging genes going. And so I'm not sure about that. I'm not, you know, I'm 27 years old, so I'm, I don't think I need the anti-aging genes quite yet. Hopefully not. But my experience was this. And so if you're watching this and you are wondering if you should do a cold shower every day, here's my personal opinion. So personally, everyone has their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Personally, I think that if you are the type of person that is looking for that quick fix or that one trend or that one thing that's gonna get you that productivity hack or that's gonna get you that you know weight loss or fitness um, benefit that you're looking for, this is not it. If you are looking for you know a little spike in the morning, you know I'm not gonna lie, give me a little spike, give me a little like coffee, you know, give me a little energy. Uh, maybe if you stop drinking caffeine, a cold shower would be a good substitute for a little morning boost. But in terms of like a weight loss benefit or a productivity hack, I didn't see the benefits of doing a cold shower every day. And why I think people do a cold shower, to be honest, which is great, is the edge, right? A lot of people are looking for that edge whether it's in business, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in school, sports, people are always looking for that edge. And so I think that cold shower provides them that edge that they're looking for. You know, that little step ahead or that little uh, confidence boost in the mind. In that sense, sure, a cold shower is great. A cold shower will help you in that little aspect. But in the grand scheme of things, if you're trying to lose 20, 30 pounds, if you change nothing in your day, in your lifestyle, in your habits, and you just add a cold shower in the morning, I promise you it will not make a difference. It'll be a little colder in the morning, your heart rate will rise a little bit in the morning, and about 10, 15 minutes later, it, everything's gonna be the same. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I don't know exactly what benefits it does to like your cellular you know, compounds or whatnot. But in my experience, in the last 30 days of doing it every day, I saw, I'll say I saw these, I wanted to see these benefits and then this is what I did experience. I wanted to see maybe me be a little bit more leaner, you know, a little bit more, um, you know, less body fat. I wanted to be more productive. I wanted to be more focused during my, you know, during my work or during my, you know, during my business hours. I wanted to be more focused, more productive. And it said you would be more, um, more alert, you know, like the cold shower is going to make your brain more alert. I didn't feel that. I did not, I did not feel any of that, but I did feel again that first 15 minutes in the morning a boost, like a little co like a coffee, even though I, I like coffee better. And I'm just not a fan of being cold in the morning. So that's just my personal opinion. And this is to save anyone who's debating on doing a cold shower because you've heard on the internet that it helps tremendously. If you want to do it, do it. If you want to do it and you want that edge or you want that benefit and you enjoy it, kudos. But if you don't want to do it and you're just doing it because you saw a video, I'm here to tell you it's not making that much of a difference as much as uh, I think people are saying. So again, in my opinion, I don't think it's that much worth being cold in the morning. I'd rather take a nice warm or even a hot shower because it's, it's just temperature. Um, they call it uh, temperature therapy. So whether it's really cold, ice water or really hot, 
it's still making your cells uncomfortable. So I personally would rather have it be really hot, especially in the morning when I'm cold. So that's my opinion, one man's opinion. You know, again, my background, I've been a personal trainer for the last, I think actually 11 years now, maybe 10 years, 11 years. And these are just things that I want to start, you know, practicing now instead of just doing my lifestyle. There's a quote that I love that says, we always question the beliefs we kind of believe, but we never think to question the beliefs we truly believe. So that was just something I wanted to try out, test it out, and uh, let's go see if it worked. And it did not. <laughs> so I probably won't be doing them. I might do them like here and there. Now, I do like cold plunges. You know, I go up to Tahoe sometimes and uh, jump in the lake. Or when I'm in, when I lived in San Diego, I used to jump in the ocean in the morning. Those are great. Those give me a little bit more energy for longer in the day. But in terms of a cold shower, I didn't see the benefits. I just got cold. And uh, again, a little bit of burst in the morning, but that's it. So if you're thinking about doing a cold shower every day, just to like lose weight or have a productivity hack, probably not the best tip or the best habit to implement. Uh, there's way better habits out there. Like for your health, walking every day. This is, this is way better than a cold shower if you're trying to lose weight and get healthier just do a walk three miles a day two miles a day but do it every day it doesn't have to be super strenuous it doesn't have to be super intense uh, just a little bit of walk get that heart rate up and uh, get a little sweat uh, if you do that every day I promise you you'll feel better it'll be way better than a cold shower every day and you actually see the results I think that you're looking for so that's my tip that's what I have for you today hope you all enjoy this Sunday uh, September don't even know the dates anymore September 19th 2021 and uh, it's just a beautiful day out today Thanks, Siri. Siri always does the right thing when you don't want it to do, and then when you're trying to get Siri to do something, it never does the thing that you want it to do. So, does anyone else have that? Comment down below if Siri's messed with you a little bit. Uh, but we got a beautiful day. We got a little baseball game going on with the kids uh, in Marin County, California. So, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Think about that cold shower and leave comments if you take cold showers or you have or you've been thinking about it. I'm interested if what your experience was, what your experience was um, during it, if you still do it, uh, if you stop doing it, let me know in the comments. Appreciate you all. Remember, be certain in yourself, be consistent in your actions because consistency is key.